lecture covers this concept of volumetric analysis. Uh, so now that we've looked at concentration, um, so you definitely want to watch the video over concentration um, before you watch this video. You gotta watch them in sequence since the material builds on itself. Um, so volumetric analysis is basically um, your favorite. It's stoichiometry. Stoichiometry, but working with solutions rather than grams and solid material. So it's working with the solutions instead. But pretty much all the same math. So as an example, so if we took this reaction, so H2SO4 plus 2KOH to make K2SO4 and 2H2O. So let's see if I tell you that you have um, 0 0.500 molar KOH and you have 0 0.750 molar H2SO4 and 400 mils of it, then how many mils? How many mils of the KOH solution do you need? So this is just a stoichiometry problem, so you gotta remember how to do stoichiometry. <clears throat> so if you were doing this reaction in lab, um, so first of all, so this is an acid, example of an acid-base reaction, not that you need to know that to solve this problem, but this is an acid-base reaction. So H2SO4, um, lost hydrogens in KOH, gained hydrogens, so this is an acid. And this is a base. So if you're doing this reaction in the lab, it might look something like this. Maybe you have a beaker of the acid in it. So you got 400 mils and 0 0.75 molar sulfuric acid in it. And so if you're the labs in chemistry, often you do what's called titration. Uh, so then you would have a, a burette. And full of your KOH solution. So this will be 0 0.500 molar KOH. And then you would add that dropwise into your H2SO4 solution. <clears throat> okay, so if this is an acid base reaction, um, so there'd be several ways that you could monitor the reaction for the, the, so that you would know when it's done. And so we didn't talk about this in, in this chapter. We just introduced what an acid, what a base is. Acids are proton donors, bases are proton acceptors. Um, if you take Chem 13, 12, so Gen Chem 2, uh, then there would be two entire chapters over acids and bases where you study things like pH. Uh, but you may know a little bit about pH, so if it's acidic, what is the pH? So what is the pH scale? It's typically is reported as 0 to 14, right? So low pH is acidic, and high pH is basic. So what would the pH be when, when all of the acid H2SO4 has reacted with KOH? So at that point, the solution would be neutral and the pH would be seven. So one way that you could monitor this reaction would be if you had a pH meter. So when the pH meter read 7.0, then the, there would be no more acid left. So you would, you would have added enough KOH to react with all of the acid. And then you would just have in the flask, potassium sulfate and water at that point. So. Basically what we're trying to calculate in this question then is how much KOH do you need to add to react with all of the H2SO4. Okay, so now we just have to work through the math. <clears throat> so what we so you basically have three three numbers. You have 0 0.750 molar H2SO4. And again, anytime you see capital M, you should just write it instead at like this. 0 0.750 moles of H2SO4 per liter of solution so that you can set up the dimensional analysis and cancel units out. <clears throat> okay, so, and you have 400 mils 
of the H2SO4 solution, which is the same thing as 0 0.400 liters, right? So we have a volume here, and we have a volume here. So we can use these two numbers and cancel volume out to get to moles, which is what we want to do first of all. <clears throat> okay, so let's see. So 0 0.750 mole of H2SO4 per one liter solution. So let's set up a dimensional analysis. And if we multiply that by the 0.4 liters, then that would tell us how many moles of H2SO4 is in the flask. Okay, so this flask, this beaker that we have has 0 0.300 moles of H2SO4 in it. And so now, at this point now, it's a stoichiometry problem. So you just calculated that you have 0 0.300 moles of this. And so now you can figure out how many moles of KOH do you need. Okay, so um, now if you remember how to do stoichiometry, now you need these numbers. You need to use the mole ratio in the chemical equation. So 0 0.300 mole of H2SO4 will react with two moles of KOH for every, so two moles of KOH react with one mole of H2SO4. All right, and then your moles of H2SO4 cancel out. So you need to add 0.6 moles of KOH from this beer rat. So you need to drip in 0.6 moles of KOH. Well, um, how many liters is that? Well, you know the molarity, so your KOH is 0.5 molar. So it's 0.5 moles of KOH per liter of solution. So again, we have two numbers now to work with, and we have a mole here, KOH, and a mole here, KOH. So we can use these two numbers and cancel out moles and end up in liters. So 0 0.600 mole of KOH. So now we need to take the inverse of the molarity. So there's one liter of KOH solution and 0.5 moles. So the moles of KOH cancel out. And that gives you 0.12 moles of KOH per liter of solution. So that would be 1.20 molar KOH. So the solution that you're dripping in from the burette of the KOH, since it required, since it's 0.5 molar, um, you're going to end up needing 1.2. Did I do this right? No, one liters. Sorry. This is wrong. Moles cancel. What am I doing? <clears throat> Moles cancel. We're just we just have liters left. 1.2 liters. So you would need to add 1.2 liters of KOH solution from the burette, and at that point, that would react with all of the H2SO4 in the solution, and you would have a neutral solution at that point. Okay, so that's how you do volumetric analysis.